Okay, this is a video by Colin Smith, Lifting the Veil, and I'm doing this under the Fair Use Act. I'm not trying to make any money on it or anything. I'm going to use his research here to, sh to show a point uh, about, the, um, about my theory. And um, what they do here is they program magnets. Demonstrated the first non-contact attachment device utilizing a pair of permanent magnets. With multi-level correlated magnets, we have programmed individual magnets to exhibit both attract and repel forces simultaneously. Since codes can be devised to control both field strength and engagement distance, we can create regions on the magnet surface that exhibit a long throw attract force and other regions that exhibit a short throw repel force. This is the This key. device was this created to key. illustrate this principle. Here we see the multi-level correlated magnets mounted in a hinged fixture, much like a cabinet door. When the correlated pair approach each other, the attract force engages and pulls the magnets together. Now they're going to find a Before region. Before they make contact, however, a stiff repel force is encountered and the magnets move away. The opposing forces are damped out in short order and an equilibrium position is achieved. The magnets are trapped between balanced forces of attract and repel. So how do we accomplish this? Okay, that is the key to my theory of the nuclear forces being a proton, which is a positive nuclear particle, and, an, and, and the neutron, which is not neutral at all, it never was, they're always found with protons. It literally is a massive negative particle. It's the same size as the proton plus a little extra. The little extra causes this negative effect that pushes the other electrons that are trying to approach the nucleus and keeps them at a distance that is what we call the quantum distance. All right, what you should do is go to Mud Fossil University here. It's on YouTube. And um, this, you should see this video because this is the one that relates to the new science of light and energy. And it relates to the negative, massive nuclear particles that we just discussed. All right, and here it is on, um, on YouTube. And that is the one you want to look at for the, um, for the new science of light and energy.